In this presentation, we're going to create a sales credit note and a sales return order for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. We'll first look at the difference between credit notes and return orders. We manually create and using the copy document function. On the sales return, we do a receive on invoice and we see the related documents that goes with a return. So let's go to the sales return sales credit note first. We select a customer. We have a location code. We select an item, a quantity, and we Try to post. So just before we check the total is OK. If we try to post, we get an error message because the system wants a reason code. So let's fill that. OK. And post. So this is the manual way manual way of doing it. We could instead use the copy document function. So here in document type let's select posted invoices and select one of the posted invoices. We keep include header, but we don't recalculate the lines. We leave the posting date as it is today. And the system has created the lines for us. Exact copy of the um, invoice. And we put the reason code. The system has put an indication about the applying. Now let's go and create a sales return. So it's pretty much like the uh, sales credit. However, on the sales credit note, when we post, there is just one post operation, whereas in the sales return, we'll have um, Receipt and on invoice. So if we post, we're saying that the goods are coming back into our location, into our our, our warehouse, but we don't create the credit note yet. That's the difference. Now we post and the system wants a reason code as well. To finish, let's look at the returned related documents functionality. Let's say that the customer returns an item that is faulty and we want to send to give him a new one, to send him a new one, and we want as well to return the faulty equipment to our supplier and get a new one. So first we receives a faulty item. So in that case there are two items and we're going to create three documents. 
purchase return first. So we're going to send these items to the supplier. And we have a credit as well. Second, a purchase order that we receive. So we receive from our supplier the new items in good condition. And at last, a sales order to send to our customer the correct equipment.